Well, there isn't any difference between the fool and someone who's courageous, right, from an archetypal perspective. Abraham is a fool, obviously, when he starts his adventures. I mean, the story lays it out in that manner. He's far too old to be leaving home, for example. He's a late bloomer, you know, and, and then he has, he has a lot of catastrophic adventures along the way. And certainly you could imagine that had you encountered him when he first encountered the famine in the land of strangers when he first went out, the idea that he had followed his misguided intuitions would have been self-evident. But in the Abrahamic stories, there is this call to get out and do. And that's it. And the thing is, is that one of the things I've learned to make it concretely is that I've done a lot of different things in my life. And every time I did a new thing, I was a fool. I did it badly. I was an imposter, right? Because when you first start to do something, you don't know what you're doing. But that's okay. That's an acceptance of your vulnerability, right? And your ignorance. That's humility in some sense. The willingness to be a fool in the land of strangers. That's it. The willingness to be a fool in the land of strangers. And that's an act of courage. Because you also reveal your vulnerability to the world by stumbling around. But as long as you're stumbling forward, then you're going to move forward. Now, how do you do that more concretely? You aim at an ideal, right? And you aim at an ideal that's beyond you. Now, maybe you don't aim to begin with at an ideal that's so beyond you that you're crushed by its magnificence, you know? Maybe that's, that's too demotivating to move you. But you could at least conceptualize yourself as the you that you are with fewer of the faults that you know of. And that's a good start. And I also think that's associated with the idea of humility. Take stock. Figure out how it is that you're not who you could be. And then move in that direction. And accept the consequences. You know, you're going to get slapped a lot. But maybe with each slap, you'll straighten up a little bit. Especially if you listen, even to the people who are slapping you. Because sometimes they're the ones who can reveal for you very quickly where it is that you're weak and insufficient so that you won't have to be that way in the future.